death, taxes, and Jimmy Uso getting popped off for another DUI. Another one! Holy hell! It's his fourth DUI! It's an important reminder to all of us that it doesn't matter whether people are failures or successes. One thing that often bonds all of us is the propensity and gravitating towards making really stupid decisions. I mean, once is a lapse in judgment, bad call, bad move. Twice, three times, okay, asshole, time to start learning a lesson here. Time to take some accountability. Of course, your employer's not showing you any accountability by, you know, firing you from your job. Why would, why would we do that? So, you go and do it again! Jimmy Uso got arrested yesterday down in Florida for his fourth, count him, one, two, three, fourth DUI. Because we couldn't call an Uber, right? Couldn't call somebody to give you a ride, right? I mean, he blew a 205 live into the damn breathalyzer. His reported blood alcohol level was 0 .205. Over two times the legal limit. So he wasn't just a little drunk, he was shit-faced drunk and decided anyways that, oh, I'm going to get behind the wheel. I'm going to be the head of the seat. Apparently needs a kick in the damn seat. And here come all the people with the reactions talking about Jimmy Uso needs help. And you've got to help him and I hope he gets the help that he needs. We need to be careful of this shit. Because when we start talking about this like that and we start making assumptions that he's an alcoholic, you're potentially passing the buck and doing what is a big part of the problem here is helping him to avoid any and all accountability for the situation, circumstance, or actions that he entirely, wholly, exclusively put himself in and did himself. Just because somebody gets a DUI does not automatically mean that they're a drunkard, does not automatically mean that they're an alcoholic. To which you're going to respond with, well, he's had four of them. That's probably a pretty good symptom of a much deeper problem but how do you know it's actually alcoholism and not just what the real frickin' addiction here is? It's to stupid, reckless decision-making. The only help he needs is to stop driving when he's drunk. Not all situations and circumstances are the same. And to those of you that are going to sit there and say, well, what the hell would you know? I've had several different addictions throughout the span of my adulthood. The one I had to caffeine damn near killed me. Like the doctor at one point told me if I kept drinking caffeine, it was going to destroy my kidneys. And because it kept causing my pulse to shoot up unexpectedly, that the wrong day at the wrong time, I'd probably have a heart attack and drop dead and die. And you know what I did? I said, that's enough. As much as it sucks, no more Mountain Dew. It's not worth dying over. Now you're going to sit there and say, well, that's not the fucking same. If I would have continued it, it probably would have killed me. The doctor even said that. Of course, in today's world, what the fuck the doctors would know because somebody on the internet clearly knows better. Same thing as addictions to eating fatty foods and sugars and all these other things. There's so many other damn addictions out there. At the end of the day, no matter what, the culpability, the accountability rests solely with the person wanting to help themselves. You could sit there and get a hundred damn people to help a Jimmy Uso, but if Uso don't want the damn help, it doesn't matter. And how the hell do you know that he even fucking is an alcoholic? And even then, you could put him into rehab until the cows come frickin' home. If he doesn't want to help himself, nothing's going to change, nothing matters. Until he stops making excuses for himself, and stops deflecting blame, and stops 
passing the buck on taking personal responsibility and accountability, nothing good is going to change. Nothing is going to happen. It doesn't matter. The addiction. You're going to say, well, some people are more easily able to do it than others. Nobody fucking said it's easy. You put yourself into the goddamn jam. Nobody else held a gun to your head to do it. Or in this case, forced into shotgun a beer, 20. It's not supposed to be easy. But that's a pussy-ass excuse to not do it. And all these folks making excuses for him. This is number four. That's four times that are documented that he's been busted for driving drunk. How many times over the years has he done it being under the influence of either alcohol or other, some other type of substance? The man's in his mid-30s. Stands to reason. He's been caught four times, probably dozens and dozens of other times, where he hasn't. Under the influence of alcohol or some other type of substance. And that whole thing of, oh, that means he's an alcoholic. Shit. My mom, used, my mom dated somebody that had nine DUIs. Dude only drunk went to the bar and drank like maybe once or twice a week at most and still had 90 DUIs. He wasn't an alcoholic. He was a fucking idiot. He was addicted to being reckless, addicted to making stupid decisions. And that's the thing that we can prove here. Everybody taking this whole big leap. It's a very dangerous, slippery slope because what you're going to say now is if somebody doesn't have a DUI, then they're not an alcoholic. Oh, I don't know about that. You got plenty of people that drink all the damn time till they black out at night or sit there and drink way too damn much, way too often, get cirrhosis of their liver or their 40s or their 50s. Sounds like a fucking alky to me just because they didn't have a DUI. That's stupid. What's also stupid is blaming Naomi here, his wife. Naomi ain't got nam damn fucking thing to do with it and you need to keep her name out of your mouths. Because real talk, at the end of the day, that is entirely, solely, and exclusively the fault of one Jimmy Uso. Stop making excuses for everything. Stop deflecting the buck and the damn blame and put it where the hell it belongs. Because God knows, apparently, the WWE sure the hell isn't. Oh, we're pissed and upset about it. You didn't do shit with them the last time he got popped off for. You basically enabled him, if I remember correctly. You pushed him soon afterwards, didn't you? Don't pretend like you're pissed and give a shit now. And it's clear Jimmy Uso doesn't care. And you're going to say, well, that's harsh. He's been arrested four times now for freaking DUIs. How many more times does it need to happen to get through your thick skulls that each one of those times that he did it, not to mention probably the many other times that he didn't get caught doing it, he put the lives of himself and others at freaking risk. That's not Naomi's fault. At the end of the day, that is entirely, solely, and exclusively Jimmy Uso's fault. Because imagine thinking to yourself, I'm in the best position of my entire fucking career but I got to go knock back a few. And then on top of that, I got to freaking drive afterwards. Putting all of that at risk. Putting all of that at stake. The best thing about it from a, who, what about the story that he's in standpoint. Edge already whooped his ass on SmackDown on Friday anyway. So you can play that shit off. He don't need to be anywhere near TV for any time soon. He doesn't deserve it. He should be fucking fired. Just like they should have fired Jeff Hardy a while back. Until he takes responsibility and accountability for what he did and what he continues to do, there nothing will change. That's the only help he fucking needs. Because if that help doesn't come from himself, self-help, none of the other shit you're talking about is going to matter, period. I hope he does help himself. He's got a wife, family that depends on him. And he's got his cousins, or his brother, you know, whatever the fuck. You got Jay, you got Roman, like, you know, Rikishi. Others, like, this is embarrassing. He's embarrassing his family at this point. He's embarrassing his co-workers, he's embarrassing the WWE. Like, this is embarrassing shit. He should be embarrassed. 
Like, this is the type of thing where you absolutely need to tear somebody down to the point of fucking tears for it to get through their thick fucking skulls that this can't continue. Because what happens? Oh, he needs help. Get him into therapy. Let's get him into treatment. And then he doesn't want the help, doesn't think he has a fucking problem. And then he goes out there the fifth time, gets a DUI, which would fucking be inevitable. And then he ends up hurting or killing some damn buddy. Then what the hell are you going to say? What an unpleasant surprise to see this on the timeline today on Twitter. It's just an important reminder that people still carry their problems and their stupidity no matter where they may be in life. Like, Jimmy was positioned well. He's in a top storyline. He just did an angle with Edge on Friday. He's associated with the freaking Universal Champ Roman. Like, he's going to be in big spots. Main event storylines. Main event type of payouts. But that didn't stop him from getting behind the wheel drunk again. I mean, if that, and being married and all this other shit, your family, all of that, isn't enough to make you say, hey, let me not be an idiot tonight. Let me drink at home or let me drink and get somebody to be a designated driver or call a ride service. You got Uber and Lyft. Again, the point being, there's no excuse. Stop making excuses for Jimmy Uso and his reckless, stupid decisions and behavior. And sitting there talking about he needs help and he needs treatment is just making fucking excuses for him and it's pathetic and it needs to stop. Is that's the environment that you create that allows somebody to think that they aren't the problem. The 100% problem here is not alcohol. It's not even getting behind the wheel of drunk. It is the fact that Jimmy Uso thinks that that's a combination that fucking goes together. He's 100% the problem here. And blaming anything else or spinning responsibility to anything else misses the plot deflects from the problem, and therefore doesn't lead to a solution. I really, truly hope this is the last time we ever have to talk about an Uso getting arrested, or especially Jimmy Uso getting a damn DUI. My God, after four times, when is enough enough a-hole? What's it going to take to get through your thick skull that this is not what you should be doing? That it's reckless, dangerous, and stupid. And there is no comeback for it. And it's not kicking a man while he's down because clearly it doesn't bother him. He needs to be knocked down a few frickin' pegs. Like, Jesus. Four DUIs. Four of them. Only thing that shows is an addiction to stupidity and a lack of basic common sense. So stop making excuses. Stop talking about he needs help or therapy. The thing he needs to do is stop getting behind the damn wheel drunk and stop making stupid, reckless decisions. Help himself by stopping to be an idiot at key moments in time. That's the help that he needs, not this other spin in the buck and blame excuse BS.